Okay, so yesterday's sales total was $895. We've got 42 sales. So let's go ahead and get to pulling these items, guys. What's going on, everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. Uh, yesterday was about $900 in sales, total of 42 orders with uh those some of those being multiple quantities so i'll give you guys a final total of actual items going out towards the end of the video hopefully you guys find some bolos chances are you will not because i don't sell anything special just basic bread and butter stuff so let's see what those look like so the first order up is a multiple quantity of six items all of these were on sale, very old inventory, especially these. As you see, they are not in bagging. Crinkly bag tells you these are very old. Softer bag, not as old, but still old. Um, this is the most recent of items, 14, 281. If you look at all these, these are the, before I ever even started this inventory system. Then this is a, uh, 252 this one is 1032 and 2640 on up to 1428 so that gives you a vast idea of how old those items are because the 1428 just got listed a couple weeks ago so this whole order total came out to like 58 dollars or something like that that is with shipping because i accepted offers on all of the items uh for like six seven bucks a piece something just to get the ball rolling uh on some sales and turned out to be a really good day so i guess it worked next item super duper old uh probably one of my most original hats 325 this hat sold for so glad to see that go probably the reason why that hat took forever to sell is because it's a small to medium fitted cap not very many people wear fitted caps, first of all. They're just not in style and not cool at all. Uh, and then it's a small size hat. I don't know who's got a small head out there besides a kid, but probably not the smartest to pick up. So I do not recommend you picking up small fitted caps. Cut from the cloth jean sold for $4.25. Nike BMW shirt sold for five bucks on a best offer. Vintage Nike Windbreaker sold for $18.75 on a 25% off offer that I sent. Next, we got another multiple quantity order. These are Wrangler rigs. Short sold for a best offer of seven. These are, let's see, these are Wrangler shorts. Sold for $14. And then these sold for, okay, so all of these, all of these shorts sold for $7 a piece plus shipping uh all of them are old pretty glad to see them go mount everest t-shirt sold for 11.25 i honestly thought this shirt would have sold a long time ago it's a rob zombie band tee uh pretty you know distinct looking graphic crinkly wrapping so it's very old uh this item only sold for six bucks American Eagle sweatshirt sold for $11.25. Vagas jeans sold for $15. So this Harley Davidson shirt sold for $12. It's got like a pirate uh, skull with crossbones and swords and stuff like that. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, best offer though. So $12 was the selling point. Cheetos flaming hot shirt sold for $8 life is good shirt you can't see the graphic but it is a mason jar with fireflies inside of it so for nine bucks j crew corduroy pants so for 11.25 on a 25 percent offer i sent old navy active hoodie so for seven bucks tommy bahama t-shirt so for 10 bucks men's men's t-shirts right now is by far my best selling category uh Next item is 14239. 14, oh, there we go. It's a little snug. Georgetown football shirt. This sold for 15 bucks. You know, you kind of gotta just pick what you um have the most success in and then just go for it. You know, take the ball and run, man. 
Uh, try to get as many sales as you can in that category. 14, 427. This is a brand everybody knows about. At least they should. And they should love it. 14, what did I say? 427, I think. 14, 427. Alrighty, let's come around from the side view. 422, there we go. Cool pants. This is the brand K U H L. Uh, it's an outdoor, outerwear, hiking brand, Gork Core, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these sold for $39 plus shipping. Next item going out, Super Dad Swag, Doctor's Pants, sold for 13 bucks. This is a J. Crew men's button-up shirt, sold for $13 as well. This is the perfect example of what I mean by picking up items that you've sold before. As I showed you here, American Eagle sweatshirt, pretty much basically the same color, different size, sold for the same price, $11.25. I don't know about you guys, but you don't have to make this difficult. If you sold it once, you can sell it again, probably for the same price too. So that's why uh, inside of the Patreon, we preach picking up the same items over and over and over again. That way, all you got to do is literally sell similar, maybe change the size and keep it moving, guys. Don't overcomplicate this stuff. This is an item that I would not pick up again. Uh, sometimes you can sell this stuff for decent uh, styling co. It's got a it's got a history of sales all over the place. You can sell some of that stuff for twenty bucks plus shipping. That shirt only sold for five twenty five plus shipping. Uh, so I'm not picking up that type of stuff anymore. I was picking up um, mostly you know any any women's clothing um men's clothing now i'm kind of narrowing down my categories to where what works for me is just men's and women's t-shirts men's and women's jeans sweatshirts things like that uh i'm not picking up too many of the women's like blouses and those types of things anymore if i've said it once i've said it a hundred times employee stuff sells pretty well for me this is a McAllister's Deli um, employee polo shirt. It is a women's shirt. This sold for $15 plus shipping and it sold pretty much within a week. So, um, you know, so while not all employee stuff sells as fast or sells for even $15 sometimes, most of it for me sells for at least 15 bucks and above. Uh, sometimes, you know, 25 to 30 bucks for an item. It just depends on what it is. So I pick it all up, you know what I mean? I'll take the good with the bad. Got this Adidas golf polo, sold for 10 bucks. Got these vintage Lee mom jean shorts. These sold for $20 and they sold within a week. Uh, pretty weird, man, pretty ugly. Uh, but this is the type of stuff people are wearing these days, man. This is a Travis Scott Cactus Jack. Look, mom, I can fly concert tee. Um, can't see the graphic on it because of the way I got it folded, but it's just pretty much a graphic of him on stage. Uh, sold for, originally it sold for $35. Then the buyer messaged me and was like, I can't use the 20% off or yeah, the 20% off coupon. And I was like, well, you can't stack a coupon on an offer. He said, oh, I didn't know that. Uh, well, can you do, can you do 30 instead of 35? And I was like, yeah, I guess, you know, so I went ahead and sold it for $30. I just gave him a $5 discount on his invoice and uh, accepted the sale because at the end of the day, I only paid $1.40 for it. So I'm not going to keep holding on to it over five bucks when it's still $30, pro uh, $30 sale. So pretty good profit in my opinion. Women's Nike joggers sold for $10. These were my Carhartt pants. Um, just some green car uh, carpenter. Carhartt pants. Uh, I just wasn't wearing them, so I sold them for 20 bucks plus shipping. Uniqlo sweatshirt sold for 11.25. So this North Face uh, quarter zip pullover sold last night. As soon as I laid down for bed, I heard a ching and uh, I checked the notification. It was a best offer of 10 bucks for this item. I just listed it yesterday, so. Uh, I was having such a great day of sales that I just went ahead and took it so I can boost up that total and uh, 
why not right why not run it up if you get the opportunity so uh yeah ten dollar sale i'm okay with that hello bean jeans uh these took forever to sell they sold for a best offer of 750 you know they sold for 750 with 20 percent off coupon promotion so been sitting for a while women's size 10 i guess ll bean jeans are not the greatest for uh women to be picking up so duly noted haven't picked those up in a long time probably won't again women's columbia hiking shorts size four sold for nine bucks those also took forever to sell Vulcan t-shirt sold for 525 I still have a few of these newer tags, vintage, new old stock, um, faded glory, uh, t-shirt or denim shirts that I got in the bulk buyout with the granny sweaters and stuff. You guys always hear me talk about that. So for five bucks, cause I'm accepting any offers on any of that stuff. So I get it all sold. Nine West shirt. This is a brand I would stay away from. Uh, this is brand new with tags, 100% silk took forever to sell and it only sold for nine bucks so just not a good brand whatsoever um i would stay away from it washington university in st louis um t-shirt this sold for a best offer of five bucks uh vintage cat shirt um this sold for a best offer of twelve dollars plus shipping um circo fortuna fortuna cat art shirt yeah, never, never heard of the brand or seen, you know, it's like cats uh, posing for a famous, like this is a Van Gogh, this is a Matisse, uh, you know, just cats posing as the piece of art. Um, one, one time I made one of these videos and I had somebody leave, leave like some little slick comment or something like that. Like, you know, who else shows $5, who else shows losing money at $5 to sell, you know? talking about somehow i keep it real uh yeah i'm gonna tell you guys all the sales no matter how low they are but just just so you guys know five dollars is not a loss for me uh five dollars is actually closer to two dollars profit for me while it's not nothing to brag about or to write home about it's still not a loss um i do encourage you guys to use it's called um ebay fee calculator just google that you'll come up with a bunch of different um makes and models and calculators to help you but you can put in what you pay for your items what you're going to charge for shipping uh your store subscription and all that jazz and it'll tell you your break even number uh so that way you don't sell an item for less than that because then you will be losing profit uh five dollars is not a profit loss for me it is a profit so i'm gonna keep selling them for five dollars if it's an old item or if i'm having a bad sales day and i need to generate sales I will accept the $5 offer because it's not losing money. An example of knowing what sells good inside of certain markets. This is the Rock uh, Under Armour collaboration, right? Adults all day long pick up. Kids, not so much. This uh, sold for $10. It's been sitting for quite some time, $92.85. So for a few months. Um, didn't sell right away and didn't sell for as much. If that would have been an adult item, $25, $30 profit on that one. 7-Eleven Slurpee shirt sold for 11 bucks. J. Crew Polo shirt sold for $6. Very old item. Okay guys, this whole pile right here is multiple quantity order. Uh, the lady bought all this stuff. She says she's on a budget. She's an older lady, and she says that she'll shop with me once a month uh, with her. I'm assuming it's some type of government assistance. So, with that in mind, I accepted every offer this lady sent me. Banana Republic dress, uh, Wrangler, uh, Aura jeans, Jessica London pants, Charlotte Roos top. This is... Um, Hillard and Hanson Intimates, um, Classic Elements Vintage Sweater. I got this in the bulk buyout with the sweaters. So that I, so was the Hillard and Hanson item. I don't remember what this is. Oh, Lands End Top. Got that from the bins. Very old item here. 
Don't know what that is. It's number 23. That thing's got to be bad. Let's see, number 23 is All Together by Anthony Originals. Super horrible brand. Never picked that up. This is another vintage uh, Fated Glory denim shirt. Sweater buyout. Canty store. I don't know what that is. Don't buy it. Uh, oh, that was close. And then this is... Liz Claiborne sweater came in the vintage bulk buyout with all the sweaters. This whole order total was not that much, $78.32. Uh, I could have charged the lady a whole bunch of money, um, you know, not accepted her offers, uh, bartered back and forth with her and lost a potential future customer uh, and then overcharged her on shipping. But I only charged her $25 to ship everything and I gave her $78 for I accepted all of her offers on uh, those items and probably can stuff all that stuff into a large flat rate box. If not, priority uh, shipping has been a lot cheaper lately. Hopefully I'll catch a break on it. Um, but a lot of items sold in that one order right there. So what I did for the 11 item order was take two of these regional rate B boxes, tape them one. One has all the items inside of it and I just slid the other box down on top of it taped it together and uh this will go out for nineteen dollars and seven cents priority mail i charged the buyer twenty five dollars so just enough to uh cover myself and not egregiously overcharge the buyer uh so figure you guys be interested to see how i ended up shipping those because apparently it didn't go inside of a large flat rate box so here we are the total is 58 actual items uh going out today so like I said, there was a couple of multiple quantity orders, one of 11, one of six, and one of three. So pretty good day of sales overall. Um, getting closer to reaching the actual uh, 50 item a day sale. Uh, like I said, 42 orders for 58 items total. I don't necessarily count that because it's not 50 individual orders, but hey, either way it goes, glad to see the uh, progress. Um, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one, but until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.